Hey guys, Sean C. Phillips here and welcome to my brand new Dollar Tree Dollar DVD and Blu-ray hunting video. I haven't done a Dollar Tree Blu-ray hunting video or DVD Blu-ray hunting video in a while and I, I, I really should be saying the Dollar Tree Dollar 25 DVD Blu-ray hunting video because it's been a Dollar 25 for a while now so it's not really a dollar anymore, it's a Dollar 25. But I've seen so many people showing, you know, video-wise that they have a whole bunch of stuff and a lot of people have been showing a ton of Blu-rays. So we'll see though if this location, this is the one that's always the best of all the locations. It usually has the most of them. So fingers crossed, like I said, I've not been here in a while. I haven't looked at this one in a long time. So we'll see what they have in here. Uh, and this one, I feel like if it's gonna have any, this should be the one, because this is always the one that has the biggest selection of all of them. So we shall see though, fingers crossed, hopefully they have them out in here. And hopefully there's some new ones, not kind of all the same ones I've seen a million times before, but we shall see though. But into the Dollar Tree we go. And this one though, never puts them in the front though. They, I've never really seen them in the front, but they have this whole area in the back. So we'll see though what they have in this one. Sometimes it can be a little difficult to look in this one because they're kind of like sometimes stacked on top of each other. Other times they do like an end cap and they kind of have them like right here. When they're like this, they're a lot easier to look at. But we'll see kind of which way they have them today. They're usually in this aisle. So yeah, yeah, see, like I said, it's like, down here, it's all like, it's almost like just someone just went <laughs> and like just vomited them right there. And there's all over the place. And there's like all this like, this shite on top of them. And there's like those classic, Jill, you know, Jillian Michaels ones. You always see, let's see. But yeah, sometimes they put them here and that's a lot easier, but they did not do that today. So it's like all this like shite stuff on the top, like all down there, see, like all this crap down there. <laughs> but I, I see some newer ones, like the summoning, I don't remember seeing. I feel like there's probably a lot more of the newer ones in this area, in this Oreo thing. Let's, so let's look through here and see. I know there's gonna be that new Pitch Perfect uh, movie. It's sort of like a series or something with Adam Devine in it or something. Looks kind of interesting, but it has none of the girls or anything in it though. It's like just him. It's like a weird Nickelodeon thing. It's like a combination of SpongeBob and Ninja Turtles. And I don't know what that show is, but I've never seen seen that one. Sleepy Hollow High. Was that that weird one? It was like, this is kind of a strange one to see. This might've been that movie that I might be wrong about that. That was like filmed in Maryland or something. Cause I'm originally from, you know, Maryland. I feel like this might've been that movie, but I might be totally wrong. But this is definitely a strange one. The cover is hor horrible, but it's it looks kind of interesting, though. I do remember hearing about this one. Probably going to get this one. I'll put this up here, but that's definitely a newer one. Under the Bed, I think we've seen before. Let's see, what is this one? This, like, belongs to us, this dog movie. I don't remember seeing that one. So there's definitely some newer ones. American Hangman. Is that Logan's? Let's see this one blu-rays ghost team one that's a newer one florence foster jenkins zoolander a different as me chris hardrick like this is like a stand-up i always wonder if that show what, what happened to that show because it was like the wall and then like all of a sudden you don't see that anymore and then boyhood and then like, i always look at this because laura Lai is in this movie laura Lai's in the movies that i've been doing laura Lai link letter let's see the, the D train. I like this. I, mean, I like this movie. It's so, so ridiculous. The, the concept of it and everything. It's a movie too, that probably would not have, you know, just kind of escaped the, than being able to make a movie like this. They would not make that movie now for anything. The content of it. Let's see. What is this one? Apocalypse. This is sort of, this is like a strange cheap thing. And it's got a really bad, like Photoshop. Oh, it's like a stand-up thing, but it's just got, like, bad, bad Photoshop on them. See, Christmas, that's that, that weird Dennis the Menace one, that direct-to-video one. Hotel for Dogs, this is one you don't see too often. It's like a newer release of this one, like a slipcover on it, I don't remember seeing. Andre, that's a funny thing. Queer Duck, the movie. I remember this was like a show that was on Showtime. Wasn't it Harvey Firestein doing the voice, or... Was he involved in this one? Or was there another one that he was on? I don't know. Maybe I thought, I thought Harvey Firestein was on it. Maybe he was on the show or something like that. I remember this kind of being funny uh, back in the day. That's, that's really strange to see. That is probably one of the most obscure things I can say I've seen in here in a while. 
four film shark one the vault that'll be a boyhood monster family new york new york what's this thing debug another ghost team one race for your life charlie brown these ones i love though if you guys don't have these these are definitely for a dollar i have the blu-rays of these but i have these are probably some of my most watched movies of, and of all time more than anything and i do not know why but it's like especially bon voyage charlie brown like i don't know what it is about that one but like as a kid too it scared me so bad like when they would show like that like chateau and all that with the music i was like convinced that like like killers lived in that house as a kid like i, I really like was scared to death of that and i don't know what it was about this movie but it really creeped me out and same with um sorry i'm dropping things but same with bon voyage charlie brown like the bad kids in this really creeped me out as well like i remember it kind of made me never really want to go to summer camp as a kid like because i was always convinced there was going to be like real bad kids <laughs> like in race for your life charlie brown like I, I i had definitely certain things always affected me in certain weird ways as a kid and I, I used to let things bother me more than normal people would. So oh, they do they do have a um, Blu-ray of Boyhood as well here too, so that's cool. Let's see, what's this one? I do not know what that is. Hope's Legacy. Let's see, Ninja Turtles. Twilight, we've seen stuff like that in here before. This, this is, I've seen so many times. This Deer Lemon Lima thing. That's been here a lot. Twilight Zone fan favorites. Arctic Tale. Key and Peel. It's like a random season three or a best of kind of thing or something like that. I guess it's the th anyway, season three. That's pretty cool though. I have the complete series of that one. Now all of this. Oh God. This big mess. I don't know how we're going to go through any of this. This summoning one. I'm trying to remember if I have this one or not. I don't think I do. I probably add this to the pile like that this one though is the most most interesting one the sleepy hollow high because it's just sort of a peculiar thing to come across man at work under the bed beast of burden dog whisper i don't know if any of this is new stuff some nicholas cage selection selma i don't remember seeing that there are some new i have to try and look through some of this because i don't remember all this stuff but see, everyone gets mad though and says like, oh, the workers must love you because you screw everything up. But it's like, I don't know how I'm supposed to look without sort of screwing, them, screwing this all up. Because they, they kind of like stack all this shine on top of each other. And you kind of have to deal with it. That's kind of why, if you guys are wondering why I don't do these all the time, because I get like so many weird like comments like, oh, you're screwing this all up and, and all that kind of stuff. But it's like, come here and see. It's like, what are you supposed to do? You know what I mean? It's like this stuff's everywhere. Let's see. I wish there was a better system, though, for kind of like being able to look. This is a cool thing in here to see. Assassination Nation. I have that one, though. That's a great movie. Holiday Homecoming? I don't know. I don't know this one. Serendipity. Let's scare Julie. Just trying to make sure there's nothing in here that I'm missing. Some John Hamm one, a young doctor's notebook. That's a strange one with Daniel Radcliffe. I don't not remember ever seeing anything about that one. Yeah, he's canceled. Let's see anything else in here? That's why that's in here. Let's see. Elvis Costello. That's a weirdo thing to see here. Collection season one, disc five. What is this show? It's like it's performances and stuff like that. That's a really odd thing to see. I remember seeing him once signing, I think, at Amiibo Records years and years ago, or maybe Borders Books, something like that. I think that's kind of all the main things is impossible to search through all this stuff. It's like a little bit more under here. I hope I'm not gonna miss something good doesn't seem like and I think I'm just going to get these main ones here that I found that I don't believe I had gotten before yeah so in there though I ended up getting like I said that one sleepy hollow high which looks very strange 
and then that one Queer Duck, the movie, which was very, really odd to see this one because I don't, I remember seeing this like when it came out back in the day at like Tower Records. It was not really something you saw many places. And then this one, The Summoning, which I don't believe I ever bought that one uh, from Walmart or anything like that when that one first came out. Other than that though, that was the only real interesting stuff I saw that I had not seen before. Uh, let me know though in the comments below though, if you guys ended up going to Dollar Tree though, let me know what you guys ended up finding. Uh, Blu-ray wise, DVD wise, some of the stuff you guys picked up. And like I always say too, if you guys enjoy these videos and want me to do more Dollar Tree videos, uh, definitely give this video a thumbs up. Thanks again for watching and subscribing. I'll see you guys later. Bye.